I've tested a lot of sleep tech. Some things that are just junk and claim to track your sleep but do nothing. Others that claim to help you fall asleep. And again, do nothing. But there are actually some really great products. And in this video, I wanna share with you 12 of them. Like, could you get the best sleep ever if you just lived in a cabin off-grid with no power? Yeah, you probably could, but that's not an option for most of us. Fortunately, there's a lot of tech that can help us combat the modern stresses that make sleep hard with the bright lights, notifications, emails, a lot of noise. In this video, I have 12 things I wanna share. So some of these things on this list are cheap and simple fixes to your sleep and others are really high tech devices that put you to sleep instantly. Like this is number seven. When we get to this, this is the honestly the craziest sleep device I've ever seen and tried. So in no particular order, let's jump right into it with the first one. This looks like a Mac mini. It's called the Ultra Human Air and it is an environment monitor. So it tracks the obvious stuff like temperature and humidity and there's an app and you can see, all right, last night, like it was too warm when I went to bed, it cooled down and maybe you know that you can adjust your thermostat. That's the easy stuff. It tracks a lot more than that as well. It'll track allergens, PM 2.5, air pollution, all of that could have an impact, but the one that I think has the most impact when you're sleeping is actually CO2. And this is something that most people don't think about. If you have a gas stove, that could drastically increase the CO2 levels. If you have a smaller room and you don't have enough airflow and maybe two people are sleeping in that room, that could also really drastically increase your CO2 levels and have you waking up feeling groggy even if you do everything else right. It's something that without a monitor, you'd really have no way of knowing. And I love the way the Ultra Human tracks that throughout the night. It's also all on an app, so it's really easy to see everything. And the app does some other great things as well. Of course, it tracks light throughout the day, so it'll tell you like there's too much blue light late in the day, but the app can recommend lifestyle things. It can tell you when you should drink caffeine and maybe it'll give you a reminder of like, hey, it's, it's like 2 p.m., maybe now is the time to get your last coffee of the day. It also tells you when to avoid blue light and is overall just a great circadian rhythm app. So that is the Ultra Human Home. I really like it. If you wanna save some money and get something cheaper though, there is also just a basic, you can go on Amazon and find a CO2 monitor and that'll tell you the general levels. A lot of times they won't track it with your phone. It'll just show you the instantaneous level. But if you wake up and you see like 1400, you know it's too high and you should either open a window overnight or turn up your HVAC fan. And that's great, but that only tracks your environment. That doesn't track anything about you and how you sleep. So number two on this list is a sleep tracker. If you already have an Apple Watch or a Galaxy Watch or even a Garmin Watch, that's great. But if you don't already have one and you're looking for something that is just for tracking sleep, like that's your main goal, then my recommendation here is the Whoop Strap. This thing is incredibly lightweight and comfortable. I can sleep with it. It doesn't like choke off your wrist really hard and have bright lights that shine in your eyes. The Whoop Strap does an excellent job of tracking sleep as well. Not only tracking very accurately, but giving you very digestible insights in the app that tell you, all right, you slept well, you need to be more consistent, maybe you didn't get a lot of deep sleep, and it can recommend different things while also encouraging workouts. It's a great workout tracker as well, and just overall health tracker that I highly recommend. Number three then goes back to environment and actually controlling your environment. And this is a really big upgrade for any bedroom that I highly recommend. It's a two prong approach here. One is the lighting. So I have a Lutron Caseta outlet, so you can just plug it in and you plug your lamps into that. And then on the app, you can control a timer so you can have it, I have it turn on before I go to bed, uh, like right around sunset, and then I'll manually turn it off when I actually go to bed. So when you walk into your bedroom, it's kind of just nice, warm, inviting bedroom. And then in the morning, you can have it turn on the lights right around sunrise or whenever you want to wake up. But tying in with that, if you have windows, you could either have your windows closed and it's totally blacked out and you sleep well, but then it's hard to wake up, or you don't close your curtains and it's hard to sleep because you get a lot of light early in the morning. So I highly recommend getting smart shades. The Lutron ones are very expensive, but in my opinion, if you don't have too many windows in your room, they're very, very worth it. They are the quietest that I've ever used. They block light really well. They look really good. And the batteries basically never need to be replaced. I've had these for, I think, four or five years now and have never once replaced the D-cell batteries in them. And again, I have this scheduled to automatically open in the morning, so I don't even have an alarm clock. I use that as my alarm, so the natural light just wakes me up in a very pleasant way. Getting back to something way, way cheaper though, one easy fix for a lot of people would just be some simple blue light glasses. It's not always easy to avoid blue light late in the day from your phone, your laptop, or just wherever you work, 
buying something like this and just wearing them for a couple hours before bed could really make a pretty big difference. They're comfortable, they're pretty subtle, uh, you definitely look kind of weird, but if you're in your home, who cares? and it could help your sleep pretty substantially. Now this portion of the video is sponsored by Somnipods. You can't get good sleep if loud noises are interrupting you, and these are compact earbuds designed for sleep. They offer triple noise cancellation thanks to active noise cancellation on board, passive noise blocking from the soft silicone tips, and adaptive leak compensation, plus they can play white noise, rain sounds, or other peaceful sounds to make sleep possible even in really loud environments. The soft silicone tips are medical grade, and the ultra slim profile of these make them great for side sleepers, which is pretty rare, as well as back or even stomach sleepers. But the hardware is only half of it. They pair with the Fitnexa app, where you can customize the ANC or soundtracks, you can track your sleep in there, and the earbuds have sensors to record and analyze how well you sleep, and an AI wellness coach can provide useful insights. So when I wake up, the personal AI coach actually tells me hey Mike, you slept great, go harder in the gym today, or you tossed and turned a lot last night, maybe you should stick to yoga. The earbuds recharge in a case like this, and the battery lasts multiple nights on a single charge, so you're not messing with a cable every morning. So if you wanna learn more about these, check out the link in the description down below and grab a pair of Somnipods 3. Huge thanks to them for supporting the channel. Now, number six on this list, this kind of ties in with the Lutron thing I said earlier. A lot of people already have Philips Hue bulbs, but what these are able to do differently from what Lutron's able to do is that these can actually change the color of your bulb. Now, I think a lot of people already know that, but it's really beneficial if you have warmer lights in the evening before you go to sleep and cooler lights in the morning. So, I mean more of like a blue light to kind of wake you up is very energizing. And before you go to bed, you want it to almost be much further on the orange side of light so that it's a lot more relaxing and easier for you to fall asleep. All right, and then finally, number seven. This thing is absolutely crazy. This is the Somni 2.0. Now, Somni is completely unrelated to the Somnipods, the sponsor of today's video. Somni 2.0, completely different company, completely different product. This is, I mean, I don't even know how to start with this. This is a headband that delivers personalized neurostimulation while playing some kind of meditative soundscapes to help you fall asleep. So it also tracks your sleep, by the way, using clinical grade EEG plus sensors. And if you don't know, EEG is like far better than the optical sensors you're getting on like a Whoop or a lot of other devices. And this should be really accurate with tracking your sleep. They claim based on their testing that users fall asleep 50% faster on average and they improve deep sleep by 33%. They tested this allegedly for eight years in a sleep lab, and they highlight that it's actually proven to be four times more effective than taking melatonin. So the way it works is you put this on your head. It's actually really lightweight and comfortable. I know I was skeptical at first of this, um, but you could sleep on your side, no problem. As long as you're not sleeping like on your forehead. <laughs> I don't think anyone's sleeping on their forehead, but as long as you sleep like in a normal way, uh, it's pretty comfortable to wear. It turns on like a, you don't even need your phone. You push a little button on there. You can connect to your phone if you wanted to, but it does like a little 15 minute thing to help you fall asleep. And then after that, it just tracks your sleep throughout the night. If you don't want that, you could wear it for 15 minutes, get ready to fall asleep and then take it off. And like this could still, you get all the benefits of using this. But if you're someone that like often takes a pill to fall asleep, maybe you get sleep anxiety, maybe you just have a stressful job. This could be a good thing to try to ideally like not take pills before going to sleep, whether it's melatonin or Benadryl or whatever you normally do, this could be a cool thing to try. You can adjust the headband, it's just Velcro on the back and it charges on this little pad right here. And they actually have a really big following on Reddit and other platforms. Like people absolutely love this. Fortunately, I don't really require it every night. I don't have severe insomnia, but this is just such a cool and interesting product. I've been using it to track my sleep. I think that's really, really interesting on here. I didn't even show you guys the whole design here. You've got these little like bumps all the way around that are really soft. And then on the inside, you can see the electrodes right there. Uh, there's like a little EEG pad. You can replace this with new little sticky pads on there. On the outside, like the middle of your forehead is where you have this bump. And when you put it on and you start it, it like maps your brain kind of is what it says it does for the first like session of using it. And it actually feels like, it's kind of an interesting feeling on your head. Like it's it's doing something. It almost feels similar to like, if you've ever used stim, like a, like a TENS unit on your muscles and it does like a little, little vibration, like little massage kind of. It feels like that, but kind of in your brain. It's hard to explain. If anyone else uses this regularly, definitely leave comments down below and let me know how you would describe it. It's just so hard to describe this, but it is a really cool device that if anyone has a lot of insomnia, Definitely worth checking out.
Number eight then, this ties in with the very first item I mentioned on this list, which is if you have an air monitor, you might as well have an air purifier. So if you live somewhere that you have a lot of dust or a lot of smoke, maybe wildfire regions, or if you have a lot of pollen, this could be a great way to clean up your air and, and reduce allergies and help you sleep a little bit better. Number nine is a smart thermostat. Uh, I have had several. The one I'm using right now is the Google Nest Learning Thermostat. It's just a great way to set up timers on your phone. So rather than like setting the temperature before you go to bed, you can have it every night cool down before you go to bed so that it's nice when you fall asleep and then also warm up whenever you plan on waking up in the morning so that it's just easier to be alert in the morning and you don't stay in your bed for longer than you should. Number 10, nightlight transitions on your phone, laptop, and TV. This is not a product, this is something that you should probably be doing to improve your sleep. On your phone, doesn't matter, iPhone, Android, laptops have this as well, many TVs have this. You can go into your settings and make sure that at a certain time of day, it's turning your screen a little bit more yellow, reducing the blue light, and helping you to get ready for bed. Number 11, I know this is like a tech list, but just stepping away for tech for one second here, this is just a general evening routine can help a lot, whether that is reading a book or a simple handcraft like crocheting, just not watching TikTok before bed is a much better practice for falling asleep. And number 12, I don't know, I sh this is not really tech, but I wanted to include this anyway, because this is like me personally, a sleep tech item, if you want to call it that, that I use a lot. So I tend to work really late and then like you work out after work, then you get home and then you're like, all right, now I'm going to make dinner now. And you don't eat dinner until like 8.30 and then you're going to bed at like 10 or 11. That's so close to when you actually fall asleep. And what I have been using a lot is a crock pot. It's a good way to like make your meal earlier in the day before you go to work, have it cook all day. And then when you get home, you can eat as early as possible. You kind of have to eat as early as possible because the crock pot's done, so you eat your food, it ends up being healthier food, ideally without a ton of sugar and fats, and it's just kind of nice that you can eat earlier, then you can work out, then you can go to bed. Eating a while before going to sleep makes a huge difference for me personally, and I can see it with all the devices I'm tracking my sleep. But leave a comment down below and let me know which of these devices you like or already have, or maybe any other devices that you like that help you sleep. Thanks for watching, I'm Mike O'Brien, and I'll see you in the next video.